I met a chopper flying over huge areas of brush in Zimbabwe, Africa. On the ground is a team of trackers and armed park rangers. It's a desperate and potentially dangerous attempt to locate black rhinos before they are slaughtered for their horns. Too late for one of these critically endangered animals. Are we too late for all of them? Are we too late for all of us? I'm Mark Davis, a large animal and wildlife veterinarian from Arcadia, Florida. This is a story of my journey from ignorance and apathy to activism and hope. What's driving poaching right now is a combination of, of human greed, people wanting to make money out of these animals, and also to some extent economic desperation. But despite all this veterinary intervention, we still, we, we're losing rhino or they're just holding their, their numbers. And if the poaching gets any worse, we, we, we are in danger of losing most, if not all, our rhino in this country and possibly in the rest of this continent. We have just a little left. This animals, this, this, they're, they're facing extinction. We, 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 we were created, men, you know, humans. We were created to look after these animals, you know. So please, uh, if you just uh, not together to protect these animals, I think God will be on our side. Huh? God made it all, he owns it all, and he loves it all. I'm not just talking about people. I'm talking about the stars and the mountains, the heavens, the oceans, the rivers, the forests, the trees each of the exquisite creatures that he designed for the sea, the land, and the air. I'm talking about the universe and all of its components and constituents. You know, without healthy ecosystems, without strong biodiversity, without wise management of our natural resources, we all perish. It means demonstrating our love for God daily by consuming less, conserving more, and influencing others to do the same. And we share this planet of people of all faiths and no faith, people of all politics and no politics, and we gotta figure out how we're going to deal with this together. I think what, what God is saying to people is that doing the work of the kingdom and caring for God's creation are actually the same thing. God cares for people, God cares for the poor, and for the creatures of the earth. The global environmental crisis is certainly the greatest challenge facing humanity today. It threatens the very survival of future generations. The first thing that people of faith need to do is to pray. Pray that God will forgive the unsustainable manner in which we are currently stewarding His creation. Pray that He will open our eyes and prod our consciences to become part of the effort to stop the greed-driven degradation of this finite planet and instead work towards creating a sustainable future for our children and our grandchildren. There is no single group or entity that can by itself overcome the global environmental crisis. It threatens all of humanity, but it's not too late. There is still hope. We can do this, everyone, together. I think God will be pleased if we all commit to bettering the world that he loves so much, no matter the cost, 
or the sacrifice.